It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I was in my local, no, not local Tesco, but the big Tesco Extra where you get to buy things from around the world because it's big enough to have a world food aisle. I pop my head down there every now and again, see, see if there's anything new down there, and I come across this. Carib. Premium Caribbean Lager, 5% ABV. There's the bottle cap, and it's from Trinidad and Tobago. It looks cool, doesn't it? A light looking lager. I don't know anything about this. I literally purchased it about two hours ago, brought it home, chucked it in the fridge. Now it's time to review it. Here we go then, let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass. I've used the regular lager glass. Nothing too fancy for this one. Lots and lots of people would drink this beer either from the bottle or if they're gonna chuck it in a glass, they're gonna chuck it in something like this. We got a two finger white head, straw colored beer. Good levels of carbonation because there's a widget in the bottom of the glass here, as you can see. Clear as a bell. Absolutely clean as a whistle, clear as a bell. There's no, it's been filtered and filtered and filtered this one. Get the aroma. It just, it just smells like the Caribbean though, doesn't it? It smells like warmth. What do I mean when I say it smells like warmth? Well, I'm reviewing this on the last day of January in the UK. It's no more than four degrees outside. And if you go to a nice warm country, the south of Italy or even northern Italy in the summer, you can get yourself a Moretti or if you go to Trinidad and Tobago, you can get this, you know, premium clear looking lager they all seem to smell the same they all seem to taste the same but you know what in that moment in that heat when you're thirsty sometimes nothing can beat a pint like this it's spicy and lemony slight maybe maize or maybe 100 percent malt We'll have a look, I'm not quite sure. Malted barley, there we are, malted barley, not me, so that's better. It smells okay actually, it smells better than I was initially thinking because it's in a clear glass bottle, I was worried it was gonna skunk a bit, but there we go. Let's get in, cheers everybody. First sensation you get is the carbonation hitting your tongue and kind of springing and hissing and fizzing about inside your mouth. And then you're left with, well, it's very refreshing, very, very, very refreshing beer. And then you just really then left with this ultimately extremely clean drinking lager. Was it an accident that this beer has been brewed like this? Absolutely not. If you were in that wonderful heat in Trinidad or Tobago and somebody handed you a glass of this and you were thirsty, it wouldn't last no more than five minutes. It's a real kind of absolute chugger of a beer. You could smash this back. In the clear glass bottle, the way it's been packaged, there's a danger. 
that you might get a little bit of hop skunking going on. Is there any hop skunking? No. What is hop skunking? Well, if you put beer in clear glass bottles or green glass bottles, there's a likelihood that we have something called light, light strike that affects the beer. The sunlight or the fluorescent lights on the supermarket shelves will penetrate that clear glass bottle and it will infect. Oh, no. I don't mean the word infect. I mean, it will change the liquid inside the bottle. That's a chemical reaction, not an infection. It's a chemical reaction. I wanted to say affect. That was the word I wanted to use. Affect, not infect. So what happens sometimes is that uh, you'll, you'll open the bottle and it'll smell, it'll waft out, it'll be like smelling the back end of a skunk. The real skunkiness that comes out the back of the bottle, real kind of, it's not very nice. And then it, 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 it's in the aroma of the beer and it's in the taste of the beer and it's a very unpleasant experience. But this company here, Caribbrewery.com They've come up with an idea here of, of using hop extract. So the ingredients are water, malted barley, glucose syrup and hop extract. And what's that done? What that has done is somehow kept all the, the skunkiness at bay. It's a decent tasting lager. It is a decent taste in lager. Um, but it's not, there's not much I can really say. There's not much more I can say about it. There's a little bit of sweetness from the malt. There's a tiny little bit of bitterness from the hops. It, it, it's just a smasher. It's an absolute smasher. So. I'm going to change my mind. It's not the greatest tasting beer in the world, but what it is, is it could be one of the most refreshing beers in the world. I'm going to change my stance to that. Probably go well with a little bit of chicken, cheeseburger, bowl of fries. Sitting in the, on the beach in the Caribbean, enjoying something like this. Yeah, it's okay. It's refreshing. It's drinkable. That's about it. Right, the, the information on the front of the bottle, uh, 330 milliliter bottle, brewed and bottled by Gerbrauen in Agelford Door. Uh, right, hang on a minute. Um, Carib Brewery Limited, Eastern Main Road, Champs Floors, Trinidad. 5% ABV. My rating, very, very refreshing beer. But I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10 from Real Old Craft Beer. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.